Science can help explain many everyday occurrences. You might have seen something and wondered, what makes that happen that way? Or, how does that work? Science has the answers. As an introduction to this course, I'll perform a series of fun, easy to do experiments that explain science behind them. For our first experiment, you will need only a pop bottle and a plastic straw. Using your t-shirt to rub the straw against your shirt, place the straw on top of the bottle. Without actually touching the straw, use your finger to spin the straw. This is done because of static electricity. By rubbing the straw onto your shirt, you created a negative charge on the straw. Your finger has a neutral charge. When you put your finger next to the straw, a positive charge is created between your finger and the straw. That charge is what allows you to move the straw without actually touching it. This experiment is done with a candle and a match. Light both the match and the candle. Nothing amazing there, but blow up the candle and hold the lit match to the smoke of the candle. The flame magically jumps from the matchstick to the candle. So what explains this? The answer is combustion. To create fire, three things are needed. Oxygen, fuel source, and ignition. In the instance of a candle, there is oxygen in the air that we breathe. The paraffin wax acts as a fuel source, and you supply the ignition by lighting the candle with the match. Because of the inefficiency of the candle, it gives off a fair amount of gaseous wax and smoke. The smoke is the fuel source that creates the solution. Again, we have the oxygen in the air. Our match is the source of ignition, but this time, the smoke, or gaseous wax, serves as our fuel source. With all three of these things put together, we have combustion. For our next experiment, you will need a dinner plate, a cork, matches, a cup, and some water. Begin by pouring some water onto the dinner plate. Next, stick three candles into the cork. Place the cork and candles into the water so the match heads are sticking up. Light the matches, and as soon as they are lit, stick the cup on top of the lit matches. The water is sucked into the cup, leaving little on the plate. How can it be? The answer is air pressure. The burning match consumes the air and lowers the pressure inside the cup. Because the pressure inside the glass is less than the pressure outside, the water underneath is naturally drawn into the glass, reducing the volume of air in the glass and balancing the pressures. For this experiment, you will need a dinner plate, milk, food coloring, dish soap, and a Q-tip. Start off by pouring some milk onto the dinner plate. After that, carefully place a few drops of food coloring in the milk. With the Q-tip, introduce a small drop of soap in the milk. You will see that as soon as the soap is introduced, the colors will swirl and mix. What creates this kind of kaleidoscope effect? The answer is surface tension. One can see that food coloring is less dense than milk because it sits at the top of the milk and doesn't mix. It is the soap that is vital to this experiment. The soap reduces the surface tension of the milk by breaking proteins and fat bonds found in the milk, allowing the food coloring to disperse. This can also be done with pepper and water. 